This video that you're about to watch is from my Omni Model course. If you want to get access to the entire course, you can get access to it for free. Yes, for free by going to my website at allentrades.me. The link to the website will also be in the description below. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. We are moving through this course. We are now on section three. We just finished the timing of the market, talking about when to take those surgical strikes, really focusing on the optimal times of the week. So the days of the week and the optimal times within those days to enter those trades. Now we are on section three, where we're gonna cover the technicals of price action, learn some of the key signatures that tend to repeat over and over again. Remember, these markets are delivered by an algorithm by an ai system and it follows very specific signatures or it has very specific signatures and follows very specific patterns over and over again we're so going to start off by covering correlated markets so we're going to answer three questions in this video first what are inter and intra market relationships two why are they important and three we're going to go over some examples so let's get right into it so what are intermarket relationships? Basically, all the markets that we went over in section one, where we talked about the different types of markets that you can trade, they're all correlated to each other, meaning that when one trades another way, another market will trade a certain way. So for example, if the dollar index is going up, then bonds or treasury bonds more times than not will be trading lower. Everything is Think of everything as being tied to a string. When you pull one string, the other drops or the other goes up with it. So like I was saying before, when the dollar goes down, other things tend to go up. So for example, currency, stock indices, commodities, bonds. When the dollar is going up, all of those tend to go down. Now, this doesn't mean that it's always going to be like that. This is just how it generally is. So if the dollar and another market are moving in the same direction, then this might mean a big change is coming. So let's say we're approaching the end of quarter one, right? And the dollar's trading higher and stock indices is also trading higher. This might indicate that we might be having a quarterly shift. So in quarter two, we might be trading in a different direction. Doesn't always mean that this is how it's gonna be, but more times than not, this is the case. Think of it like a roadmap as when you do see these markets trading in the same direction have your antennas up and be ready for a potential market shift for the next couple months or years or however long it may be the longer that they do trade in concert with each other the bigger the change is probably going to be so we have this diagram right here of a seesaw i have the dollar on the left side weighing it down so if the dollar is going down then that means all other asset classes should be rising now, moving on to intramarket relationships, there are markets within each asset class that are also correlated with each other. So the difference between inter and intra is inter is all of the different asset classes being correlated to each other. But intra, there are markets within each asset class that are correlated with each other. So for example, we have AUD and NZD. They tend to trade in the same direction. Euro and British pound tend to trade in the same direction. ES, NQ, and YM, so the S&P 500, NASDAQ 100, and the Dow Jones, they tend to trade in the same direction. Then we have gold and silver, and then we have the 30-year, the 10-year, and the five-year. All of those tend to trade in concert with each other. And then I threw this in here for completeness sake and for you crypto fans, Bitcoin and Ethereum also tend to trade in the same direction as each other. So we have this picture right here and you can see that these charts almost look identical. However, they are two different asset classes. The one on the left is the S&P 500 and the one on the right is the NASDAQ, but they look the same. This is how it should look when everything is going in the right direction. They should trade in the same direction when they're not just like how we were talking about with the intermarket relationships when they're not trading in the same direction this is an indication that there might be a shift coming a change in direction so let's go over some examples we have the australian dollar and the new zealand dollar as you can see they look like they're almost identical to each other as you can see they are trading in the same direction when there are big bullish moves in one there's big bullish moves in the other and vice versa for bearish moves Moving on, we have the Euro dollar and the British pound, once again, trading in the same direction. We have gold and silver, once again, trading in the same direction. When you have the big bullish moves, you have bearish moves 
where you have bullish moves in the same thing. And then moving on to the three treasury bonds, they also trade in the same direction. And that is it for the correlated markets. There's not a lot here. You just need to know that there are certain markets that trade in the same direction of each other. And then everything else should trade opposite of what the dollar does as long as the dollar stays the reserve currency. Now, yes, I did give you a few markets that you needed to remember, but remember, like how I was telling you when we were talking about the sessions and all the different times for each market, you only need to master one first. Once you master one, then you can branch out to the other market. So pick which one you want to do, master that, learn how price moves with that market in hand. And now we're going to jump to the next video where we talk about key levels and look at where price tends to react at based off the market structure at hand. So I will see you guys in the next one.